Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I'm super excited to share a lot of pages that I have created over the past couple of days um, just kind of preparing for the new year. A lot of them are kind of bullet journal style pages and I just had fun creating them for my happy planner this year. So without further ado let's just dive in. So I am putting them at the front of my planner but I wanted it to be after the name page and then it kind of goes right into this perpetual calendar. So for right now, I have them all right here. Let me just show you. It's a couple pages that I made. So I'm going to flip through these in today's video and talk to you a little bit about them in depth as well. Um, for some of them, I did film like time lapses. So I'll pop those up to show you a little bit of the creation process as well. But I just really did this for me. I didn't film it. I didn't talk through it. I just was watching YouTube videos and, you know, putting stickers on a page prepping for the new year. So I had a lot of fun with this. So I do already have a video up on my channel um, where I talk all about my annual goals. So I won't go into too much depth on this, but that's the first page here. Um, so I set seven annual goals for the year. And then I have this little circle here so I can rate myself at the end of the year on how well I feel that I've accomplished that goal. Um, and this sticker book I used, or for this spread, I used the Hustle and Heart and Golden Black. You'll see a theme. I kind of wanted all of the pages to coordinate a little bit. You'll see I have a couple different variations, um, but I did use these two sticker books for a lot of these spreads. So that is my annual goals page. Again, check out the video where I talk about these goals. Um, before I did that, though, I did this annual assessment. So this sticker, this sticker, and the annual goals sticker is from Proud Sticker Designs. I will leave that for you as well, linked down below. Um, but I made, oh, and then these are from Plan With Lichen. But I basically just rated myself on the different categories and then journaled a little bit about what I wanted to do in the new year to increase all of those categories. For all of these dots, I used some different dot markers. I have some of the name brand ones and then some like knockoff ones just to kind of make everything a little bit color coordinated. I had a lot of fun with dot markers in the spread. Um, the next page I have here is my word of the year. So for 2023, my word is pivot. Oh, you know what? I kind of want to put that on here because 2023 is not on here right now. So maybe I'll do... Let's just do it right here. 2023 word of the year. So um, my word of the year this year is pivot. I want to, uh, these are kind of the two definitions that I think of for this word for me, to change or shift direction and to change the way in which one does something. So there's five main categories that I want to pivot a little bit in this year. Finances being the first one, I'm definitely looking to be better with money in this year. Uh, so that is a big way that I want to pivot. Um, I talked about it in my annual goals video a little bit, but when I say pivot, all that I mean is I don't want to start from scratch. I have kind of, at least for some of these, I have a base of what I've created or what I know I want to do. And I'm just looking to shift a little bit. I want to just change the direction that I'm going a little bit. So um, plan your truth is the next one that I want to pivot. I talked a lot about this in the second half of my annual goals video, where I talk about what is coming in the new year for this channel. So if you're interested, make sure to check out that video to learn more about the other things that I'm looking to do and pivot with plan your truth this year. The next thing is for physical health. Uh, I just want to, you know, I have some goals and some things and I want to shift the direction in which I'm going a little bit. I have some routines that I want to incorporate into my day to day life and, you know, pivot and, and think about things differently. And then also with some of my relationships, just looking to pivot and uh, do things a little bit differently there. For the florals, I used Caliva Plan. Oh, goodness. Which one was it? It was one of her Roy G. Biv, I think volume two. I love these blue floral florals. I just thought that it, it was really pretty. All right, 
the next page we have is my quarter one goals. I will also, once we get to it, add in here quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. They'll each have their own page as well. Um, but I have my quarter one goals. Again, make sure to watch my annual goal video before watching this. But what I did is um, I'll just read one example. So for the annual goal, I have set up and maintain a budgeting system to save money, pay off debt, uh, pay off student debt, and invest. For my quarterly focus, the only thing out of all of those things that I want to focus on is to set up a budget system and to reassess that each month. So I'm not focused on saving money. I'm not focused on investing. I'm not focused on paying off debt yet. Those will be focuses in other quarters. Right now, I just want to focus on that budget. Um, so I do that for all of them. So for physical health, I have eat a fruit and vegetable daily and drink more water. That's all I want to focus on in this quarter. Uh, I want to plan out my 2023 vacation time and travel plans. Incorporate more Disney and lifestyle content for Plan Your Truth while also getting ahead and a little bit more organized. So that's my focus in this quarter. There's lots of other goals that I have for Plan Your Truth this year, but this is all that I want to focus on this quarter. Uh, start a morning routine. So that annual goal also includes a PM routine, but I'm not even thinking about that yet this quarter. Finish decorating these three rooms in my apartment and then also reconnect with old friends and get birthdays organized for my relationships goal. Um, all of these stickers are from the Hustle and Heart book for the quarter one goals. All right, now into the pages I'm the most excited about. Um, I got this idea from a YouTuber who does bullet journaling. I forget her name, but I will link her down below if I can find her. She does something that's called 2323s in 2023. Or in 2022, it was 2222s in 2022. Long story short, this is a list of 23 things that I want to do 23 times in 2023. Now, before you think, oh my God, this is a lot of stuff, a lot of tracking, I'm not going to kill myself to make sure that I do this for 23 times. This is just more fun and kind of so that whenever I think about it, I can look at this and see like, oh, because this is basically two times a month is how I'm looking at it. So maybe at the beginning and the end of each month, I'll just kind of check in with this and see, oh, did I do two face masks this year or this month? Did I vlog two times this month? Did I do two friend dates this month? And just kind of check in throughout the year because these are all things that I want to do. So what a fun way to do that. Um, I mainly use the black and gold sticker book for this spread. So I'll just really quickly go down. I have face masks, vlog, Disney videos on YouTube, friend date, go to a new place. And then, so all of these dots, I used the zig dot markers. I had a, like a silver and a gold that I used for this. And for most of them, all that I have to do is check it off. But for some of them, I wanted a place to also write about what those things were that I did. So what 23 new places did I do? So this is going to be where I write that. The main thing I want to do in this is go to like new restaurants and things and just like new fun places locally. So that's what this is meant for. I want to use my Cricut 23 times. I want a memory plan 23 times. We have go to a live theatrical performance and then a spot to write what, what each of those shows are. I would love to get 23 new Patreon members. Uh, I always have that link down below. It's basically a platform where you get some extra perks from me, some extra videos, Zooms, different things like that. Um, I want to have 23 days with absolutely no work. That is for my main job and also for Plan Your Truth. I often fill my days off from my main job with Plan Your Truth, and I want to remind myself not to do that all the time. Uh, I want to listen to more music in 2023. I love music, and uh, I found in the past year or so, I haven't listened to as much because I just am doing other things or watching YouTube videos, but I want to get back to listening to music. I want to watch 23 new movies, and then I have a spot to write what all of those are. I want to save money 23 times. 
Uh, I, oh, this is board games played. I want to play 23 board games this year. I love game nights with my friend Sarah and uh, some of her other friends. Um, so I want to play 23 board games this year. We'll see how that goes. I want to do 23 reels with my face on Instagram. I want to chit chat in my stories 23 times. Um, I want to go for a walk 23 times. And then this one is adventures. So um, this is just coordinating with the travel goal that I have. I want to do 23, you know, fun travel-y type things. They do not all need to be big trips. In fact, they can't be. But if I go to, you know, the Renaissance Fair, that is a fun travel adventure situation. So that would go on here. So basically two times a month, I want to do something and go somewhere and do something fun. I want to delete photos, uh, de-stash anything. It could be sticker books. It could be clothes. I want to do some de-stashing this year and get rid of some things. So that is happening. Close my Apple Watch rings 23 times. Uh, chill nights in with Sarah and Lucy. I love chill nights in with uh, just in my new home. So I want to make sure I do that. And then my last one is to do something for someone else 23 times. Obviously, I'm not limited to that. I just want to remind myself to do something for someone else. So I had a lot of fun creating these three pages. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. And maybe this gives you an idea. This also could just be a list of 23 things you want to do in 2023. And it doesn't have to be this complicated. But I just had so much fun creating this. All right. Next up, we have a then versus now page. So I filled this out at the beginning of January. And then I'm going to answer these same questions at the end of December. So the different... Um, basically questions that I'm going to ask myself is what's a goal that I'm, you know, really wanting to work on. That was morning routine and memory planning at the beginning of this month. A big purchase that I made recently, it was wine fridge just now. I purchased that over Black Friday. The best memory of the past year, that was Texas or Bust and all of my planner friends. Uh, word or phrase that I used a lot in that last year. I'm, I've been using Kiki a lot, especially with my Patreon members. We just love to Kiki over there and have a good time. Uh, biggest win of the year? I couldn't pick, so I have three. I originally put launched Patreon because that was a huge win and something I was nervous about, and it went super well. I love my community over there. I also put new home because I moved. And then this is kind of funny. I flew first class and it was kind of a... Uh, <laughs> it wasn't actually first class. It was on a small plane. So it was more like premium economy, I would call it. But uh, it was just funny that it said first class on my ticket because I am not by any means bougie, but that was funny. Uh, something I want to try in the new year, new restaurants with Sarah. What am I looking forward to? My Disney trip and go wild in Washington, D.C. Something I recently tried, Nespresso and building my little coffee bar. I'm still creating that. What am I stressed about? I'm stressed about money and health. And then the number of trips I went on this last year. I went on six trips in 2022. And that was some of the highlights of my year. So I want to definitely incorporate that into 2023. So then at the end of the year, I'll come back to the same exact spread and answer these same questions, and it'll just be cool to kind of compare the two. Uh, I have also seen people make this with multiple years. You could have like five years on this. Uh, there's lots of different ways that you can do this. These are Live Love Posh florals uh, from her purple specific book. I always have a code for Live Love Posh linked down below. Um, it's an affiliate link, and it also saves you 10% on your order. And then all the boxes are from Jewel Tone boxes. I use the purple boxes, and also this washi tape was from that as well. All right, and then the last pages that I have right now, I have a movies to watch and a TV shows to watch. These are both stickers from Planner Kate. Um, and I just jotted down a few movies that I already know that I want to watch this year. To be honest, though, I don't think this is going to be enough. Um, so I, there's not a ton of, like, I don't know. I, I think that this I may turn into movies as well. 
so that I'll have movies to continue on the back here, I think. I'm not positive, but when it comes to TV shows, I'm kind of set in my ways and I watch Bravo TV and that's really, for the most part, like all that I watch. Um, so it's movies that I like to focus on for the most part. So those are all of the fun pages that I made to kind of begin my year. So just as a quick flip through, we had annual goals where I assessed my goals, my word of the year page, my quarterly goals, and I'll add the other quarters in as they come up, my 23, 23s in 2023, then versus now, and then the movies and TV shows to watch. So I hope that this gave you a little bit of inspiration on maybe some pages that you can make. There's so much more you can do. Uh, this is just what I've made thus far, and I'll have some fun maybe making some other ones as well. Um, make sure to subscribe. I will, my next video up will be talking about my monthly goals, which, oh wait, where is it? I'll just give you a little sneak peek because I also use the, um, black and gold to kind of match everything. Um, but yeah, definitely check that out coming up shortly here. And I'm really excited for 2023 and to share a lot of these things with you. So um, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.